Hi, uh, welcome to my uh, short video regarding the uh, and a brief introduction to the Sonoff Wi-Fi bridge. A few people have asked for this and when are we going to see it? Anyway, well, now we've got it and uh, we've had a week to play with this and to understand uh, its functionality and uh, some of the things we can use it for. This device, we can connect the Wi-Fi, your home Wi-Fi, to... Uh, to RF devices, uh, for example, we have the old RF switches. Used to, used to, we used to power sockets. Uh, you know, you, we can we can reinvent these. We can reuse them again, which uh, we can teach the we can teach this RF bridge the code from this controller. Then we can use the uh, we can use the app uh, on the cell phone or the tablet. Uh, to control some of the older devices, so uh, it gets a second life out of some of the older devices. Another application is using this PIR sensor. This PIR sensor will then, once triggered, talk back to the RF bridge, again, back to your Wi-Fi, onto your app. This could be uh, connected to some outside lights or part of a scene, so when it's triggered, then a scene will operate. Another application is using this uh, electronic read switch, which can be connected to uh, a door or maybe a window. So again, when a door is open or a window is open, uh, this will then communicate RF back to the bridge, Wi-Fi back to your application. Again, this, can, this will alarm upon the cell phone or your tablet, or you can make it a part of a, a scene. So the next part, I'll just show you connecting this RF bridge up and, uh, and a few examples of its operation. On the uh, back of the RF bridge, we've got a, a pairing button. We have uh, the input, which is five volts using a micro USB power supply. Uh, we have the RF, we have three LEDs, one, two, three, uh, the RF, the Wi-Fi, and the power LED. We'll uh, use something like this uh, cocktail fork to uh, press the, the pairing button, and then pretty much using the same app, well, using the same app, and pretty much typical of, of all uh, Sonoff devices, you uh, pair this device. So uh, I'll just pause the video, wire him up, and show him connected. So I've got the power on the device now, and uh, and it's showing we have a Wi-Fi connection. It's showing we have power on here. So using something like this, uh, maybe a pin, we uh, press the button at the back, the pairing button. See, there's the pairing button. We use the pairing button. Then we come across to the app. Now, uh, typically of, of this, we uh, add a device, do the pairing button, and then as normal, like on previous videos, it's next, 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 and then name it, and it's, uh, and it's uh, connected. I've already connected this one. Now, I'm using my uh, tablet to show you this. It might be a little bit easier to see. Tablets are not particularly good for this app because it's not uh, it's not particularly configured right for this app but but it works and it's it's uh, does does uh, give a good demonstration so once we've got it to see the device we'll go into the device and I've uh, I've pre-installed the the three devices so I've pre-installed the uh, the con remote control the PIR and the electronic read switch the window stroke door switch here now this device here, this paired up absolutely perfect. So it's basically you're going to add add a remote here, uh, and, and then you tell it which which one you're going to add. You're going to add a one button, two button, three button, a curtain or an alarm. Uh, the PIR connects absolutely perfect. So once you've told it, yeah, I'm going to add an alarm, you uh, you uh, just trigger the alarm like this, it'll talk back to the bridge. Yeah, that's configured. This has been absolutely flawless. This has worked every time. 
no issues. The control, yeah, a little bit of difficulty with this. This is this seems to be hit and miss whether it wants to work first time. And the only thing I can say is just keep going and going and going. So you'll go uh, add, for example, a two button device, uh, confirm. And then what you do is actually you hold. So you'll hold the one button down first. You hold the button. The RF bridge will beep. Then you go to your device and press, for example, A. For this on. And then it'll confirm by changing to blue. Now, again, this has not particularly worked every time for me. So the only thing I can say is try, try and try again. Uh, I've had to try sometimes 10 times for this to pair, but yeah, it's paired. Same with the uh, electronic read switch, the uh, the door and window switch. Not every time. So what I did, I went pair again. One, two, third time. Yeah, I got lucky. It paired. PIR, this has been no bother at all. Absolute instant pairing. Uh, and I've tried every combination. I thought, okay, we'll try pairing this one first. We'll try this one second, this third, and vice versa. It makes no difference. This pairs perfectly. I found this one, yeah, okay, second time. This one has taken up to 10 times to pair. And I've seen a few uh, reviews on different uh, websites saying they found it impossible to pair some of these remotes. Yeah, uh, one or two times it might be. But keep going, press it again, press it again, press it again. Just keep pairing. It'll, it'll get it. It'll eventually get it. So... I've got my three devices connected here on this app. So I've got my PIR, I've got my window, and I've got my RF remote. And a, a good example of, of some of the functionality and operation of this device. What I've done, I have come back out and I've created a scene, and this is just purely just to show you how we can, we can some of the operations for this. So what I've done, I've created two scenes, one saying lights on, one saying lights off. And uh, and for example, the lights on, I have put, when it meets the RF window, execute lights on. And uh, for this example, I've, I've uh, called this device uh, the, uh, the side lights. So what I'll do is power up the side lights. I'll pause the video, connect the cable, and I'll show you. So now we've got him connected up there. So I remember I called this lights, side lights, uh, this Sonoff device, and my scene stated that when the window was open, or the electronic read switch, window, door, etc, etc, the lights will come on. And there you go, it worked. So, my the next scene I created, again, this is only for an example, I said, on the PIR, I said, uh, go back to scene, sorry, I want to go to scene, and my next scene was uh, lights off. Now, again, this is only just for an example, and this just to give people ideas of what we can do. So... My uh, next scene was uh, when the PIR is uh, activated to turn the lights off. So uh, going back to our example, because it's Christmas. So first we said, oh, activate lights. And then again, I created a scene where you saw the PIR and it switched the lights off. So, show you again. So, not for my first scene, turn the lights on. My second scene was to turn the lights off. So, let's just remember that these, these scenes I created was just for a bit of fun to show the, the functionality of the RF bridge and uh, some of the devices. What I'll do now, I'll just show you uh, what I did 
the, the operation of the uh, the RF switch here and the old uh, power outlets. Uh, these are just a pair of European power outlets. I uh, the bottom of a bottom of a drawer not being used, uh, never used. So, but it's uh, it's kind of reinvented and reused some old technology. So there we go. I've uh, wired up the old uh, RF's uh, power outlet there. I'm just using this one here as just the adapter uh, because there's slightly different fittings from from uh, uh, from different current out. So this is only for low current. So I've had to just use that as a little adapter there for this. You don't need this. I've, this was just it just happens to be there on this occasion. So here we have the uh, the traditional old switch. You know, and what we're going to do, we are going to reinvent it and incorporate it with the uh, the RF bridge. So the RF bridge will now drive the RF socket outlet. So going back to the app, so we uh, open the RF and we have the two button control here. So uh, so we can go on. There we go, and off. So that's just using. So again, old technology, but we've reinvented it and we're reusing it uh, with the, the RF bridge, bring it into the app. Again, we can make this part of the scene and uh, just use use up some of these old, and I know we have these in, uh, in the UK, we have them in the US, and we also have in mainland Europe. So, some old devices you'll get these for pence but you know bring it together with this technology uh just reuse some old small bits and bobs again only a bit of fun today just that there's nothing particular uh serious about any of it just we just want, just want to show people you know some of the functionalities of the rf bridge and uh what you'll find if you get one uh, any comments below, uh, any advice, just uh, drop me an email and I'll see what I can do. Thanks very much.